Hello everyone. I thought we might have a look at a little bit more about transfers and stamen. And those of course are things that you do after your partner has opened one now trump. So I started looking at uh, the way that you were playing stamen. So we'll look at some common errors that are made when you're holding 4-4 four, four in the majors stamen. And then what to do the correct way of playing when you are holding 5-4 in the majors. Do you use transfers? Do you use stamen? Or do you use both? And then there's the situation where you're holding 5-5 in the majors. How can you show that? And then finally, I've watched somebody uh, misplay a transfer to a minor suit, so I thought it would be worthwhile covering that too. So, you all remember this, I'm sure. What to do after a 1 no trump opening? You use stamen with 4 and transfers with more. So, we will look firstly at stamen and we'll look at the 4 4 in the majors. And I need to clear up a common mistake, a common error that's made when you're playing because it's the key to what follows. So in all the hands that I'm going to show, there'll be different hands. The thing they have in common is they will all be one no trump and they will all offer 13 points. So here we go. If you have both majors and at least 11 points, and that's an evaluated 11 points, then you can use stamen. The asterisk is because there are situations where you might use stamen with less than 11 points, in fact, a lot less. And if you use stamen, you're saying that I have at least one four card major, but you are not denying that you might have two. And stamen, as you all know, is two clubs. And if you get a positive response, two hearts, it's not the one that you wanted to see. And I'm afraid that many of you show your spades or well, you must have had spades because you've said I've got at least one four four card major and it clearly isn't hearts because you would have agreed it therefore you must have spades so you bidding two spades is a wasted bid you don't show spades what your partner wants to know is your strength so you must have a, have had the space to have used stamen so you bid no trumps at the appropriate level. In this case, it would be three no trumps. So let's have a look where you've got stamen and it got a game going hand opposite the one no trump, but you don't have a fit. So one no trump. And then here's our hand. We've got both four card majors. So we will use stamen, two clubs. We get a negative two diamonds. And as I said before, the key now is to show your strength. So you bid no trumps at the appropriate level. And again, in this case, with 13 points, a good hand, supported honors, tens, nines everywhere, then that's certainly no trumps, three no trumps. Okay. Let's have a look now at Stamen, where you've got a game going fit, not a no trump fit. So off we go with our one no trump opener and um, we've got four and four so we use stamen and we get the response back two spades oh joy of joys that's the suit a suit that we have and we go straight to four spades because we have a game going hand not losing trick count looking at the points okay right now there can be invitational stamen so how do we work that out here we go, the one no trump hand and 12 points now opposite, but a four card major, so we use stamen. It isn't the suit that we wanted to hear, spades isn't the suit, so now we have to show our strength. And this is invitational, this is where we offer two no trumps. Remember, we never have 11 points, so 12, it, sorry, two no trumps means I have 12, I never have 11. Therefore, my opener knows to respond three empty based on that. So let's have a look now 
Stamen's weakness taker. I'm sure you're all familiar with the classic, which is that you have four spades, four hearts, four diamonds. So you can tolerate any old response that comes back to you. And it's a, just a weakness taker. So in this case, two clubs, they say two diamonds and you're happy. But you would have been equally happy if they had said two hearts or two spades, you would have just passed. Okay, so passed. But there are situations where you can use weakness takeout where you don't have an optimal hand. Say you've got three in the diamond suit, then you would still more or less tolerate any response. Even if it was two diamonds, you would have you would have a you'd hope for a seven card fit. Okay, so that's how, what we did with stamen now we're going to have a look at transfers stamen with four transfers with more so stamen and you stamen combined with transfers when you are holding five four in the majors and you have a game going hand here it is a massive 15 points you bid stamen first because you your, it is your best chance of finding a fit in a major suit. Remember, we're always trying to find the magic eight card fit. And bidding two clubs, stamen, gives you the best chance of finding a fit. You get back the negative. So now you can show that you have hearts and you can show something else. When you bid a new suit at the three level, a change of suit, a new suit at the three level, is a game going bid. It's saying we are going to bid to game. So you can deduce that you must, the, your partner must have had four spades and five hearts because they bid the hearts again. So therefore you can go to game now with three and bid four hearts. So let's have a look again. One no trap, very, very popular. Now you have a weak hand. So again, you've got the 5-4, but it's weak. So you offer clubs, try and two stamen in order to try and find a, an eight card fit. You get a negative back. So now you bid two spades, two, not three. Two saying I have five spades. I must have had four hearts. Now I have five spades and it is invitational or a weakness takeout. You must have five or else you would have bid NT and it must be a weakness takeout because it's at the two level. And so moving on, we'll have a look at holding five five in the majors. And here's the secret how you do it. It's quite simple. If you have game points, then transfer to the spades first by bidding hearts and then bid the hearts over the of your partner's response. And if you have fewer than game points, do it the other way around. You transfer the hearts and then bid the spades. And you'll see that it works a little bit like showing whether you're bidding over or under your barrier. So here we are. There's the one no trump hand, 13 points again. <clears throat> and here we have a responding hand, 5-5 five, five in the majors, but importantly, game going points, 13. And so we transfer to the spades first by bidding two hearts. Partner responds two spades. And now we show the hearts. And by bidding at the three level, we're saying we we're, we're, can go for game. And I must have five spades and five hearts because I transferred you to the spades showing I had five. And now I'm showing you hearts showing you I have five. And you would choose your better fit. So it would be the spades and you bid game for spades. So what happens if you have a weak hand? We do it the other way around. So there's the one no trump hand. Here I am, 5-5 five, five in, in the majors. And this time I transfer to the lower suit. I transfer to hearts first and my partner responds. And now I show the spades. And can you see the difference? Now I'm bidding at the two level. So I'm indicating that this must be a weakness takeout and that I have five spades and five hearts. So a little bit more. Um, we've looked at that. And now we're going to look at transfers to the minors. And the reason I'm doing this is I saw it done incorrectly the other day. So what do you need to transfer to the minors? Well, first of all, you need six or more cards in the minor suit. 
and you need, need, you, you need fewer than game points. So two spades says transfer to clubs and three clubs says transfer to diamonds. I've seen some of you go two spades, your partner bids clubs and then you bid, bid diamonds. Absolutely no point. The whole point you're trying to do all the time is keep the strong hand concealed and this is the only way of doing it. So here we go. With this hand, you would transfer to diamonds because you have fewer than game points. But with this hand, you have game points and you bid no trumps rather than transferring into the minor suit. Thank you very much, everybody.